hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how i created uh a birthday poster design with pixel lab so i'm just going to start by choosing our image size i'm going to be using 4x5 instagram portrait size is also 4x5 inches okay first of all i'll be importing the image we are going to use and this is it so i'll just increase the size and then i'll lock the layer so secondly i want to import uh, the texture that will be at the back of his at the back of the image so i'll just kill this scale this again okay let me copy it and delete this one so i'll put it to the center and then what i'll do is to go to color filters go to contrast and increase the contrast so that the ash becomes black okay now increase the saturation also so then i'll go to erase color and erase the black colors out erase them totally and then go to color filters and change the hue the hue of the pattern at the back to this red okay then just reduce the erase color intensity so that it shows yes okay so this is what i have and uh, if you notice the pattern is still on top of the picture and if i send it to the back it's not showing but i want it to show without me removing the background of the picture so what i would do is to just load this layer and then import uh the png now the reason for this png is just to uh mask the texture to the back so i'll make the color black and then i'll increase the size and what i'll do now is that i'll merge the texture and this black layer together So when I merge it, you can see that they are one. So I'll just go back to erase color again and then erase this black color and then take it the way up. As you can see, it looks as if uh, the pattern is now at his back. If you notice here, the pattern still shows at his back and here also. So it gives the perception that the pattern is at the back of the subject and it still remain it's still retaining the quality of the main picture so okay what i'll do next is to copy this image again okay now i'll go over to um eraser and then i want to erase the parts of this dress or yes the part of the background just remaining the pocket because i want to change the hue of the pocket to match with the background so i just fade it a bit and then i'll go over to hue and then i'll change the hue to Okay, I'll change the hue to yellow like this. Alright. So the next step to do is I'm adding the text and uh, happy just happy first. I'll go back to text and choose my font akin nine. Okay, so I'll reduce the spacing a bit. Increase the size copy it and 
birthday. Sorry. Birthday. All right. So, uh, I want the text to come out very well. So that there will be a little bit of contrast between the image and the text. So, I'm just going to add uh, a feed on that. Yes. A feed under the text. So that the text, the text can pop a bit. So, I'll reduce the opacity and then we have this okay so i want to add a variation to the text i'll go over to draw and then choose this color ff9 e02 so i'll just paint it here in between the text that have uh, a spacing inside so put it here also then i'll put it here And then I'll put it here. Okay. So what you do now is to send the paint uh, layer back to the happy birthday. Okay. So we have this. Then I will just add his name. I will add his name, Dr. Kachi Eze. Now choose a suitable text to match it. So I'll just reduce the spacing a bit. And then I just want to add something spicy to it. Also, we have to add the, the birthday wishes, so so I'll write um joy, peace, uh creativity, and then blessings so i will change the font to be a little bit thicker i'll use a poppins medium and i'll reduce the the leading reduce the size first okay so uh the next thing i will show you is uh okay i want to add uh a flare so i'll first of all use the color of the background so the image will match and i'll put it here and i'll copy it and put it around here then i'll import my flare background my lens flare and now use erase color to erase the black part of the flare. Then I'll increase it. Make it big. And then I'll position it around here. And I'll copy it. Now position it around here. This is actually not necessary if you don't want. But if you want. Okay, I'll just leave it like that. I'll just leave it like that without it. Okay, I don't know if I'm... Okay. Uh, so, the last thing we'll do is to add uh, the date. So, I'll just write 
August 30. And then I'll go over to this curve text and I'll curve it a bit. I'll copy it and I'll go over to rotate uh, rotate it. So just make sure they are aligned in the center. So okay. Then what you have to do is to use a circle so that you know or you make it to be circular in shape. I'll just increase this circle a bit. Okay, so I'll just merge it. And then I'll take it here, reduce the size a bit. And I'll take it here. And uh, yeah, that's all. That's basically all I did in the video. Oh, that's basically all I did in this design. So I'll just save this as a PNG and uh, save it as Ultra.